Let's get cozy. Today I'm talking about all of my favorite fall and winter candles and I'm organizing everything by scent category. Pine scents, smoky or woody, gourmand, and then unique. So hopefully there's something for everyone. And if you're new here, I'm Kate. I talk about mostly beauty on this channel and I like to look at beauty products through a critical lens so that I can help you save money and I can also help myself maintain a somewhat minimal collection for a YouTuber. If that sounds like your thing, I hope you'll subscribe and let's get into it. Before I kick it off with scented candles, I wanted to mention my absolute holy grail everyday staple and both of these are from Amazon. These are beeswax pillar candles. They're three by four inches and they are so huge. They omit such a beautiful warm light to my house. And I like to put them on these little gold iron plates. Right now they're having a huge sale on Amazon where you get three of these for just $15. And these beeswax candles just have a lovely little warm, natural, earthy beeswax scent, and they fill up the whole space with such a gorgeous warm glow. If I could only purchase one candle for the rest of my life, it would be these beeswax pillar candles because they're just so beautiful. The first category is Christmassy pine scents, and I'm gonna start with an affordable-ish option, which is Sweetwater Decor's Fraser Fur. This is the smaller size, it's nine ounces, and I believe it's on sale on Amazon right now for $19.95, but I do prefer the look of their 11 ounce candles candles, which are just a few dollars more. And this has notes of cypress, evergreen, cedar, balsam, and fir. This is also one of John's favorite candles. It just smells Christmassy and fresh, and it smells like pine trees, but in a very natural, very crisp way, not in like a Christmas tree kind of way. It's very, very fresh. And this brand, Sweetwater Decor, you can get on Amazon. They have so many different scents and they're all really good. I've tried at least 15 of them, but I picked three in this video that are my favorites. They're made from soy wax, they're hand poured, and I always find that the throw is that perfect medium happy ground that I love. It's never too subtle but it's never too overpowering and it's like the perfect balance. So if you're looking for a high quality candle company that won't break the bank, definitely check out Sweetwater Decor. If you want that fresh, Christmassy, wintry kind of scent in a more luxury candle that still won't break the bank, look no further than Dyad Pins and Needles. First of all, this ceramic vessel is just so beautiful. And this candle is like catnip for anyone who's around it. Every time I light Pins and Needles, I get so many questions about what it is. So the notes are, Green Bay, Pine Cone, and Black Currant. Middle notes, Pine Needle and Blue Eucalyptus. Base notes of Balsam Wood, Pine Wood, and Sheer Musk. So this kind of takes Fraser Fir from Sweetwater Decor and then adds some musk, adds some woody notes, adds a little bit of fruit in there. It's so, so, so balanced. It also has a slightly stronger throw so it can fill up a medium sized room really well, but I never find it overpowering. It never gives me a headache and I'm extremely sensitive to scents. Dyad candles are 10 ounces for $40 and you can actually get sample packs on their website. So they offer little like sample candles. They offer little sample perfumes so you can try before you buy, which is amazing and it's a small woman-owned business um, started by the Garso twins who are YouTubers here. You should definitely check them out. So not only do they make incredible products, but they're also just a great brand to support. Next up in this category, we have Mise en Seur's Sapin de Noel. This is eight ounces for $75 and it is a luxury designer brand. You can get it on Neiman Marcus and Bloomingdale's. And the website says, the brightness and purity of the resinous notes of the pine needles, a green and woody note evoking the magic of alpine forests. This one definitely is a little bit woodier, so less fresh fresh and it's softer. There's a more subtle throw. There's something in here that smells a little bit earthy, which is really nice. And I find that a lot of designer candles have really strong throws that end up irritating my nose, but this brand gets it right for me. It's never overpowering, but it's enough to fill up a space. Sure, the scent is not reinventing the wheel. So if you want to save and get something that's a little bit more affordable, I would go with Dyad or Sweetwater Decor. But when it comes to luxury and designer brands, those are oftentimes are on sale on those websites websites and they also make great gifts. So it kind of just depends what you're buying for. Next, we have the smoky woody category. And for that, I'm starting with Hotel Lobby's New York Candle. I've talked about this so much recently. I love it. It's 9.75 ounces for $56, currently sold out on their website, but I think they've already done a second restock so you can sign up for notifications. And the website says, New York is a warm, resinous, and slightly sweet scent built around the richness of amberwood, cedar, sage, and patchouli. It's an alluring unisex fragrance that feels at once familiar and deeply unique. And much like the city of New York, it has a sharp bite that will leave you longing for more. Such a good description. I'm normally not a fan of patchouli because I find it tends to overpower everything else, but they used it really well on this. It just adds this slight earthiness. It's just, it's sexy, it's earthy, it's woody, it's sweet, it's smoky. It's like 
all of the things that I love in one candle that's somehow super balanced and not overpowering. And that's what they mean by something unique but familiar all at once. They did something really special with this. I've tried so many candles from Hotel Lobby, and this one's my favorite. Next up, we have this bad boy, which is Ness Three Wick Candle in the scent Hearth. This is 21.2 ounces for $78, but you can get an eight ounce candle for $34. It's a mid-range brand that you can definitely get on sites like Sephora in a bunch of different sizes. And they didn't have any specific notes on the website. It just says, create the aroma of a warm, crackling fireplace with this exquisitely fragranced three wick candle featuring rich oud wood with frankincense and hints of smoky embers. That's it. It's woody, it's smoky, and it's a little bit earthy. Definitely don't buy this if you're looking for something sweet. It is like smoky and woody. It just, I don't know, <laughs> it smells like what I imagine like the Game of Thrones set should smell like. It's very dark and I love it. And it somehow isn't overpowering either. My only word of caution with Nest Candles is that sometimes they can tunnel, they don't totally burn evenly, and then you have to put aluminum foil along the outside and let the wax melt and reburn. The ethos of my channel here is to be super transparent. And so I do wanna say uh, Nest replaced my last three wick candle because it burned so terribly. So I'm gonna have to see how this one goes but I think if you want a better burning experience, probably go for the smaller one. But this scent is so great. It's so dark. It's so smoky, so woody, so great for the wintertime. Moving along to the more gourmand or like spicy gourmand category, we have Sweetwater Decor's Warm and Cozy Candle. This is 11 ounces for $24, and I think that's a sale price on Amazon right now. I believe it's usually 28. And this has notes of orange, cinnamon, clove, vetiver, and pine. This is the perfect fall and winter candle because it combines those spicy, cozy, comforting notes with the freshness and the earthiness of pine and vetiver. So it's like my two favorite candle scent profiles in one. It's also John's all-time favorite candle. Anytime I light this one, he goes, mmm, I just love that candle. So if there were only one that I could recommend you pick up out of this whole video, it's probably this because it just gives you the best of both worlds. If you want a gourmand candle that's not too sweet and very much fall and winter time appropriate, Dyad Smoke and Mirrors is absolutely incredible. To me, it just smells like a campfire with marshmallows roasting. Again, Dyad candles are 10 ounces for $40, and the top notes are green apple and roasted marshmallow. Middle notes are spicy cinnamon, wild patchouli, and vanilla bean. Base notes are cedar wood, guyac wood, and smoky sandalwood. Dyad just gets it right every time. I repurchase this along with pins and needles constantly. This is a fresh one. And when you first smell the fresh cold throw, it smells a little sweet, like on the sweeter side. But once you burn it, it really brings out those smokier, earthier notes, and it's super balanced. So don't let the super marshmallowy cold throw scare you off. In fact, there's another candle here that I hate the cold throw of, but I ended up loving it. So never judge a candle by its cold throw. This is just everything that you want a marshmallowy fragrance to be because it's smoky, it's woody, it's a little spicy, it's creamy, it's not like a sharp sweetness, it's like a real like creamy, natural, real smelling marshmallow. It's perfect. It's perfect in every way. I love it. In the very spicy gourmand category, I picked Sweetwater Decor's... Oh, it's a squirrel. Wow, I am a gold retriever. In the very spicy gourmand category, we have Sweetwater Decor's Farmhouse Kitchen. And the website says, Farmhouse Kitchen is a sweet apple maple fragrance that will remind you of a hot apple toddy. Sweet maple is rounded out with tart apple notes, bourbon, and vanilla. Top notes of apple, cinnamon, and orange. Middle notes of bourbon, butter, and coconut, and base notes of maple and vanilla. Ugh. You get the butter, you get the bourbon, you get the apple, you get the spices. Mm, my mouth is watering. I wanna eat it. It smells so real, like you just have something baking in the oven. So if you're looking for a candle that's a little bit gourmand and a little bit spicy, I really think that the bourbon and the butter notes in this make it pretty epic. Next in the gourmand category, we have Otherland's Cardamom Milk. I got this at Sephora during their sale, and this is eight ounces for $36, so very much a mid-range kind of price. And the website just says that it has notes of frothy milk, cardamom, and praline woods. A little fresh or floral, so I actually think this is more of like a year-round kind of scent, but I've never talked about it before, and the milkiness to it, the nuttiness of the praline, and the spice of the cardamom absolutely make it appropriate for fall and winter. It's just like totally a year round kind of candle. When I first smelled the cold throw, I did not like this. I thought it smelled really sharp, 
really artificial. I just didn't like it. I was going to send it back to Sephora, but I've heard so many good reviews about this that I was like, you know what? I'm just going to burn it. I don't hate it. So let's see how it goes. And I fell in love with it, which is why you just got to light a candle in order to know if you're actually going to like it. I would say I smell more of the milk and the praline and the cardamom last. Like I would not consider this a spicy candle. I would say it's more like milky, lactonic, nutty. Hold on. What are praline woods? Is that a thing? Google did not recognize what that was. Okay. I think Otherland just like made up praline woods because I don't see anything about what praline woods is. I'm not sure, but either way, this smells really nice. I would say that this candle has the softest throw out of all of the candles in this video, which is why recently you will have seen this in the background of my videos. This is my office space and my studio, and it's a small room, and it beautifully fills up this room without being overpowering, um, but I don't think this would fill up a large room. So if you're really sensitive to scents, um, maybe check this one out. Speaking of a candle that I hated when I smelled the cold throw, it's Maison Margiela Replicas by The Fireplace Candle. This is just 5.82 ounces for $65. So this is very expensive per ounce, um, but currently it's on sale at Nordstrom for $48, which is almost $20 off. And the website says these are top notes of pink pepper, orange flower petals, and clove oil, middle notes of chestnut accord, guyac wood oil, and cade oil, base notes of vanilla accord, Peru balsam, and cashmere. Whew, the cold throw on this is sharp. It's astringent. It like kind of stings the nose a little bit. All I smell when I smell the cold throw is like the clove oil and pink pepper. So it's like, spicy in your face. But when I burn it, I get more of that vanilla, more of the smokiness coming through where I understand where by the fireplace gets its name. This is tiny and it also has quite a subtle throw. So I would definitely try to get it on sale if you can. I wish they made this in a larger size so that I could put it in some of my larger rooms because it really is beautiful. Last in the spicy gourmand category, we have the new Savant's Harvest Table. This is the seven ounce candle you can get for $38. They also have a 14 ounce version for $68. And the top notes are cardamom dusting and cinnamon sugar, middle notes of tart cranberry and red delicious apple, base notes of candied pecan streusel and toasted pistachio. I think this is worth getting because it's got those spicy notes. It's got those gourmand notes but it also has the pistachio, which rounds it out with a really beautiful nuttiness. The cranberries and the apple add a really great tartness to this. So it's not like just spices and vanillas like a lot of other candles can be. And the new Savant candles are super strong. Like this tiny, tiny little candle fills up the entire bottom floor of my house and into the stairwell of the upstairs. So if you have a super, super sensitive nose, I would not get Harvest Table or California Christmas. That's another one that I love. Those two are like the strongest from New Savant that I've tried. Their candle in The Usual is also a favorite of mine. I wasn't sure to include that in this because it's like a year round kind of brownie scent, but I will leave a link on the screen where I reviewed that in my last candle video. It is one of my favorite candles and it's also by The New Savant. And their scents in The Usual and Androgen have a little bit of a softer throw, but California Christmas and Harvest Table are very, very strong. So if you're the kind of person who doesn't wanna break the bank for a big candle that's gonna have a big throw, you want something that is a little bit more on the like mid-range pricing, but you want a scent that really fills up the space, definitely check those two out. I can't remember if California Christmas is available on the website again. If it is, that one's also awesome. But my heart is currently beating a flutter for Harvest Table. Now we're moving into unique fall and winter candles. And my favorite is Byredo's Ombre Japonais. This is 8.5 ounces for $90. And the description says, Ombre Japonais celebrates the sophisticated art of Japanese gardens. The candle evokes an imaginary place where black peppercorn grows together with coriander seeds and in which bourbon vanilla melds with the toasted scent of sesame and notes of sandalwood. The full notes are top notes of black pepper and coriander seeds, middle notes of sandalwood, base notes of bourbon vanilla and sesame. It's nutty, it's spicy, it's creamy, it's a little sweet, and there's something in here that also smells like dust in a good way. I don't understand where they got Japanese gardens from here because when it comes to gardens, I would just imagine some kind of floral note and that does not exist in this candle. If I close my eyes and I smell this candle, I smell like someone just brought a fresh baked pie into an old library or like an old church or something. There's something in here that smells like an old dusty woody building with lots of rich history. And like a bunch of people are gathered there with like nutty baked goods. It's epic. It's an epic scent. 
Every time I have friends over, this is the candle that I light at night and they are like, what are you burning? It's such a crowd pleaser. Everybody buys this candle after they visit me. It makes a great gift. The throw isn't too strong. It's not like you walk into a room and you smell candle. You walk into a room and you just think, whoa, this place smells really good. My runner up from Byredo is Bibliotech and it's also 8.5 ounces for $90. And the website says, sheltered from the passage of time, libraries have the power to teleport us to a world in suspension. The velvety quality of the paper embodied in a touch of peach, plum, and vanilla, and the omnipresent patchouli like a backbone runs through the composition. It has notes of plum and cinnamon, heart notes of leather, accord, and violet, base notes of birch woods, patchouli, and vanilla. You really get the leather and the woods coming through here, so it totally smells like an old library. And the patchouli definitely is stronger in here than it is in the other candles that contain patchouli, but it's so perfectly balanced out by the smokiness and the leather notes that it's not at all overpowering. And then you get this sweetness of vanilla, you get this epic addition of plum and violet that just make it so special, so unique, rounded out by a little hint of spicy cinnamon. I would never have thought of that combination, but that's why Byredo is very special. And I just think that this is so beautiful. They also make it in a fragrance version. Unfortunately on my skin, it smells like shit, but the candle is a beaut. And lastly, we have Mizen Sur's Bois Ardent, which is eight ounces for $75. Again, you can get these on like Nordstrom, Neiman Marcus, Bloomingdale's. The website says the ancient exhalations of papyrus wood, salted, narcotic, they keep in their wake the sensation of fire and the faraway echoes of strong and dry patchouli. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. I wish you could smell this. I don't know what this smells like. It drives me nuts every time. All I can describe this as is like a winter honeysuckle. And there's no honeysuckle in here, but to me, all I can smell is like honeysuckle, but instead of a floral way in like a really woody, earthy way, it's so nice. I don't really understand how the notes match what I smell, but it's so beautiful. So if you ever get the chance to smell this candle, please let me know what you smell. It's also another one that's like catnip for me. I smell it and I'm just like, oh my God, like, what is that? That's good. It just smells really special. This is definitely more of like a year round appropriate kind of scent to me. And I think the black candle with the gold label is also just very beautiful for the winter time. And I've totally fallen in love with Mizen Sur candles. So I'll definitely have to pick up some more. Please let me know in the comments section, what fall and winter candles are your favorites? Since you know my scent preferences, what do you think is missing from my collection? I just, I love trying new candles. I can never have enough. If you wanna see more candle videos, please click the like button so I know to film more videos like this. I'll also leave somewhere linked on the screen my last candle video, which was all my favorite spring and summer candles. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a good day wherever you are and I'll see you in the next one.